This video is going to be just for Octave users. In the part 040 input output.m document, I introduced the write table and write matrix functions that exist in MATLAB, but those functions don't exist in Octave. So how can we write data out to file in Octave? Now there's a variety of ways to do it, but I'm going to talk about the one that I think most directly compares to the write matrix function, which is DLM write. I also strongly encourage you to check out this reference right here that talks about the DLM write function. This code right here that I'm presenting will be linked to in the video description, and I'll also have a direct link to this uh, web page right here. So I've got the exact same data as I had in my uh, MATLAB example here. So we've got a load and a length and uh, we're submitting this material to some sort of pressure and we're gonna see how it deforms under pressure. So those are the calculations involved right here. The details of it is not actually that important, but what's important to know is that at the very end, we get this two column matrix that I have simply named M. And I want to write that data to file. All right, I was testing it, so I actually already had the files in my uh, output window, so you might have seen that already, but I just went and deleted them. So we're gonna pretend like they were never there, and we're gonna create them from scratch using this code right here. Now, I'm not gonna present any alternative to the write table function, because even tables themselves, like there's no table function in Octave unless you download some particular package. So I'm not gonna worry about that. But we do want an alternative to write matrix. We wanna be able to write matrix type data out to file using Octave. And for that, I'm going to use DLM write. DLM write is kind of the inverse of DLM read. DLM read is a function that I introduced in an earlier video when I was talking about reading from file in Octave. DLM read reads from file. DLM write is going to write to file. And I just have two little examples of it here because it's relatively simple. DLM write, the first input is going to be the file that you want to write out to. I named mine material data.txt and then comma and then the matrix data that you want written into that file. The default delimiter is gonna be a comma, so this is going to be comma separated values into this text file. So we might even rename it, we might even call it a CSV file rather than a TXT file. And then this line of code down here shows you how you can specify a delimiter if you don't want commas to be used. Perhaps you want tabs to be used. So I have a different file name just to distinguish them, and then the matrix, and then in single quotes, a backslash T to represent a tab. All right, and so finally, I'm gonna go run all this code here. All right, it only prints out finished because I like to put finished there so that I know that the writing to file has completed because otherwise nothing shows up. And like, sure, the file might be there, but like, is the program actually done running? It can be hard to tell. So that's why I include that at the bottom. And then I'll go open that file and I got material data.csv and tabbed. I'm gonna open both of those up in Notepad++. Nope, you can also open them in Notepad, that's just fine. All right, and here's the comma separated data. You can see the commas right there. And then right here is the tab separated data, and it's the exact same data. So relatively easy to use. There are a few more features of DLM Write. If you're interested in those, I recommend you check out this webpage, but that is all for this very short video.